missed you. Welcome back. Bienvenidos. Come on in. Come on. Hola, muchachos. It has been so long. Dos semanas. Two weeks since I have come on here to see you. And I have definitely missed you. And I'm glad you're back. Um. I wanted to tell you before I get to what we're going to talk about today, I did want to say that I had a video that was sent to me that I almost didn't see and I just recently was able to see it and I want to make sure uh, to thank Bennett L in Miss Karen's class and his hermano, his brother, uh, Juan Miguel L in Mrs. Patu's class for their video with Counting Zanahorias. It was awesome. Their mama sent it to me and somehow it almost didn't get to me and I just finally saw it. Boys, I'm so proud of you. Great job with your counting. Now on to hoy, today's little lesson. Now today's pequeño, it's a little one, but it's a song, a canción, that I'm going to teach you that is really special to me. And it's a canción, it's a song that's really perfect for primavera. Do you remember what season that was? spring and it's also uh the second reason i want to share is because it's also very special to me because it's a canción a song that my mama my mom would sing to me um it was probably one of the first songs really she ever taught me it's a really great song to teach even just for babies because they can uh I'll, you'll see in a second but you can use your manos your hands and it's a really easy song to use so um it brings back lots of great memories when i think of my mama singing that to me and teaching that to me so i thought i would pass it on to you and maybe you remember you are the maestra maybe you can teach it and pass it on to somebody else so without further ado the name of the canción the name of the song is los pollitos the little chicks so because it's got pollitos right away that tells us it's a perfect little song for primavera and the song is very simple. I'm gonna to explain to you what the song is about before I sing it in, uh, in English, I'll tell you. Then I'm gonna sing it in Espanol, in Spanish, and then we're gonna kind of practice, okay? So what the song is about is about a mama hen, a gallina, and she is bringing food for her little chickies to eat. Now she knows they need the food because she hears them make a sound. Cheek, 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 okay? And when she hears that song, she knows that they need to eat or maybe they're a little frio, they're a little cold and they need some warmth. So she goes to take care of them and brings them food and gives them the warmth. So it's really a little song about how mamas love their babies. And my mama, my mom definitely made me feel loved. So I wanna pass that on to you now. So I'm gonna sing the song one time, completely in Spanish and then I'll do some translating to help you along, okay? So this is how it goes. I'm gonna use my manos to pretend that they're little pew, 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 little pollitos, little chickies, okay? And this is why it's a great one to teach little babies because what I, now I don't remember learning this as a baby, but I've certainly seen pictures of myself and then when I had my babies do this, I could see how easy it was for a little baby to learn. They might not be able to say the words, but we use our manos and that's what I love to do, okay? So it goes like this. Los pollitos dicen, pío, 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 cuando tienen hambre, cuando tienen frío. La gallina busca el maíz y el trigo, les da la comida y le presta abrigo. Bajo dulces alas, acorrucaditos, hasta el otro día. So there's the song. Now, um, there are a couple versions out there that differ just slightly, but if you look up Los Pollitos, you should see something very similar to this. I've also gone ahead, and I'm gonna mention now before I forget, that if you look under my playlist, so not the videos that I'm doing, but playlists where I share other videos, I have put two versions of this song. I have put a Spanish version, which is the one that I just sang, and then I've also put the same song. There's also a version in English, in English, so that you can understand it as well, okay? So, before we start practicing, let's look at some of these big important words, right? So the biggest one I would say is pollito, which is the baby chick. So when the song starts, we hear 
Los pollitos dicen, the baby chicks say, pío, 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 chic, chic, chic. Cuando tienen hambre, when they're hungry, y cuando tienen frío, and when they're cold. Okay? Then it says, la gallina busca, the hen. Gallina is hen. La gallina busca, she looks for el maíz y el trigo. Maíz is the corn. Y, and, el trigo, the wheat. Y les trae su comida. She brings them their food. Comida is the word for food. Y les preste abrigo. And she lends them her warmth. Bajo de sus alas, alas are wings. Under her wings, acurrucaditos, nice and cozy. Hasta el otro día, until the next day. Duermen los pollitos. Duermen means sleep. And the baby chicks sleep. So there you go. Los pollitos dicen, the little baby chicks say. Now, as always, I've got a little, tiny little craft that you can do if you would like to with this. So I have made, of course, a pollito, a little baby chick, and I made a gallina, a hen. Now, with both of these, again, if you look under in my description, all the directions will be there. But this is pretty easy. So what I took is, this is a paper plate. I did this for both of them, and I bent it in half. Okay, now today uh, on this little craft I use, which I haven't done, I haven't even done watercolors in forever, so I use watercolors and I thought that was really fun. And I cut out some orange construction paper here, a little tail feather there. I used some pipe cleaner for the legs and again some construction paper for her pies, her feet, and a little ojo, an eye, and my pollito, my baby chick, same thing plate in half, use my watercolor amarillo, yellow, and I have her alas, her wings, her pies, her pico, her ojo. There you go. So you can use these when you're singing your song as little props. So, and that brings me to my homework, okay? So the home, first homework, primero, would be to make the little pollito and the gallina yourself. These would be fun. Maybe your segunda, your second homework can be not only to learn, aprender, to learn the song, but then I want to see if you can teach, enseñar the song to somebody else. Maybe it's your hermano or hermana, brother or sister, mama or papa, mom and dad, whoever you're in your casa with. And like I've said in other videos, if you don't want to teach somebody at home or you want to teach, you've taught them and you want to teach somebody else, call somebody in your familia or an amigo and teach them over the phone. This is the perfect time to do that. So that's all I've got for you today. Like I said, I've missed you a whole bunch and I do plan on uh, going back to my regular posting of the videos. So you can look for my videos on lunes, Monday, miércoles, Wednesday, and viernes. Friday. Until I see you again, muchachos. Adios.